Good morning, everyone. Pastor Ryan here for our daily CEC missional moment. I'm here with uh, Rod Stauber. That's me. And uh, Rod is uh, a leader in our church and has been a part of our church for uh, a long time. A so, few years. A yeah. few years. Call it a decade uh, or two. So tell us a little bit, Rod, just the standard questions I'm asking yeah. people. What do you, what do you, how's this impacting you? Uh, well, um, a lot of things got idled on the job front. We already worked from home, so the whole online community thing or working thing hasn't been a big transition for us. Um, the impact that's, that's tough for us, I think, is we have a lot of employees that are transitory employees. They work for us sometimes. They work for other jobs. And so you're in this place where this is kind of the part of the year where they are going to make some of their income, and now that's not going to be happening. So. We've kind of been in a place where we're, we're, we have some resources, so we've actually gone through and we've talked to employees, we've talked to nieces and nephews, we've obviously touched base with our own kids, extended family, and we're just asking the question, how can we be of assistance? It might not just be a money resource, but it might just be the idea that, hey, we're not in a tough spot yet, but just knowing there's a safety net brings the anxiety level down. So I think it's just that idea of, of in isolation, you know, it's not just hunker down, it's like what else is happening? Who else is going to need help? Who else might just need, you know, a Marco Polo video or a call? Um, everyone's got their face in a screen, so we need to find ways of making that a positive experience and still trying to stay connected. So that's, that's our new reality right now. That's how Nikki and I are trying to move out into the world. So. Yeah, that's good. So that's kind of similar, like, things you're noticing about people and how you guys can reach out, how people are feeling anxious. Anything else you're kind of noticing about people or yourself? Um, or? So we, we're also making an effort to support the, um, the local retailers that are doing takeaway. So we made a vow this week. We, we have some groceries, but we're trying to eat out at lunches and, do, and support takeaway. And it's interesting going into these little stores that are normally thriving with people and all the chairs are stacked up in a corner and mm -hmm. the staff's in there very cheerfully, happily boxing things up and handing it out. So um, I think the community, at least this community, um, I, I, I'm sensing that people, we were at Winco the other day and talking in the aisle of people, people are still friendly and cautious and obviously there's social distancing, but it's not isolation and fear that I'm noticing in just the few days that we've been interacting with the with the local businesses and people. It's, it's just sort of this cautious, like what's this new reality? and there's a patience. I feel like there's a patience in a in a trying to understand one another. It's it's oh, it's it's not it's not doom and gloom. Right. Not That's what good. I'm seeing. So where do you see God at work then in the midst of all this? Well, it's almost all the same things, right? I mean, it's 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 that idea that that um, I think I think I think that the enemy would love us to be in isolation and fear. I think from a prudent society standpoint, we need to be distancing ourselves physically. We obviously don't want to be transmitting this virus. Um, but I think we can break that down by still connecting with family, connecting with community. You know, we have an elderly neighbor, so, you know, connecting in a way that you can say, hey, if you need something, I'm out and about. If you're not, I can drop it on your porch. Mm -hmm. um, connecting with the community through restaurants, being a positive, non-anxious presence when you go pick up your food or in the grocery line. Um, I think God, you know, it's interesting just sitting down with, uh, we just did an interview with someone in the church that went through a, a big transition years ago, and it's been a fun thing to see all the ways that God is working all the time. And Corvallis, Oregon, Oregon, the U.S., the world at large is just part of a timeline. And this is just a point where God knows we were going to be, and He knows how we should be through it. And if we can align with God through this, this will just be part of the timeline of our of our. Uh, of our faith walk. So That's a good reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you doing that. And glad you're part of our church family. Praying for you and your family. Thanks. And uh, yeah, I want to remind you tomorrow at 10 a.m. you can log on. You'll get a link through the email. You'll get uh, a link on our website. And we're going to gather as the church to worship uh, and try it in a new and different way. Uh, but just again, one of those ways to, to prevent isolation, which the enemy would love to use and to still be the church, to still worship, to still engage with one another. So watch for that link tomorrow morning uh, at 10 a.m. And uh, we'll just continue to, as we're able, stay connected. Thank you, yeah, man. So thank you.